Hey everybody, welcome back to The Soapy Cauldron. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer and I like to make Harry Potter inspired soaps. Unfortunately, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos, I'm not going to be making a soap inspired by Harry Potter. I'm actually going to be making a soap in a series I like to call Muggle Nonsense. If you're not new, you know that I have actually taken a break from Muggle Nonsense soaps for a while just because I feel like in 2020 we have enough nonsense going on, but I'm bringing them back and this is going to be the Muggle Nonsense Soap for August. It is a series that I started because I wanted to make more soaps that had nothing to do with Harry Potter, but in keeping with the theme, it's things that muggles like, so it's still Harry Potter related. Tonight's soap is going to be the last soap for August, and it's actually going to be a soap you can't purchase. I was asked to make 150 soaps for a women's conference coming up in November for a local church, so that is the soap I'm going to be making tonight. It is going to be based on the theme First Love, and and I'm gonna show you a picture um, in just a second of what the bags look like, and that is what I'm going to try to mimic in this soap. So if you'd like to see how I make this August Mogo Nonsense soap, don't stop watching. Okay, if you've watched any of my videos or any soap making video, you know, you know they, oh, they have the hiccups. <laughs> You know, the only way to make soap is by taking oils and lye and water and pouring them together to start the saponification process. And then we stick blend this together. For this soap, I'm going to be using three different colors, so I'm gonna split the batter off into three, and I don't wanna say equal-ish, but three uh, different containers to mix up our different colors. So I showed you a picture of what the bags are gonna look like for the women's conference. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to mimic that in my soap. So the first color that I'm going to be using is this Copper Penny by Nurture Soap. The goal is to make it kind of a terracotta color. And I'm also going to attempt to recreate that uh, triangle at the bottom. I like to always add my fragrance oil at the same time and the fragrance oil that they requested is called Lavender and Mint and it's by Crafter's Choice. And it's more of a lavender and like green mint than a peppermint. All right, I have some of my um, lotion bars here that I'm going to use to prop up my mold because I want this uh, to go in at a slant. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. It can be like an, you know, wrong sided triangle. It doesn't matter, but the goal is that it looks like a triangle. So here goes nothing. All right, I'm gonna scrape out my bowl and then I'm gonna give this a few minutes to set up and then we'll work on the other colors. All right, I have that off to the side, setting up to harden. And this one I went ahead and added some titanium dioxide mixed with water. And I'm going to add half of the remaining half of the fragrance oil into here and then the other half into here. And into this one, I'm going to add the tiniest bit of um, Cabaret by Nurture Soap, because again, I want this to be very, very light. So just the tiniest amount, because a little goes a very long way with this. Let 
we are going for more of a cream on this side, which we seem to have achieved. And my goal was to do a um, in the pot swirl and then drop it. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. So I'm just gonna pour this all in, scrape it out. get our mold back and we'll pour this in there. Okay, everything has set up nicely, so I'm gonna take this and I'm also gonna take a giant spatula to break the fall because I do not want the triangle to be messed up. And we are just gonna start pouring this in. My goal was to have, you know, very natural colors, cream, that dusty pink, and then of course, the terracotta. And my Muggle Nonsense soap for this month also has a stamp. I had part of the logo uh, for the Women's Conference made into a stamp thanks to Rockin' Roberts. Um, and as soon as this, hardened and we cut it tomorrow I am gonna stamp it for you and show it to you so let me finish pouring this in there I'm going to tap it down and then we'll come back tomorrow and cut it okay we're back it is all nice and firm and it's ready to be cut into you can see like the straight edge so I'm really excited to see what the triangle looks like um, it's a bit more muted than I wanted, so I think from for future batches, especially this uh, triangle, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, a little bit more orange, but it's great for our first batch to see like where our colors stand, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it, and it's also going to be cut a little bit thinner than I usually cut, and that is because I am going to, um, I, I need to get a lot of bars out of this one thing. I have to get about 20 to 25 bars so that's the goal you can see it gelled but it'll it, it's going to turn out just fine so we're going to keep cutting it i love the way that the triangle works it looks great in my opinion it looks really good actually so we're going to keep on cutting And then I have a stamp, as always, from Rockin' Roberts. I'm gonna go get it in just a second, and we will stamp these. And remember, we are doing it for the Women's Conference, so I actually had their logo made onto a stamp. So I'm gonna go grab that, and we will stamp them. All right, here is the stamp that we are using today. It says First Love, and that is the, um, that is the theme for the conference. That is going to be in November and that is what we are going to be stamping onto each bar of soap so I'm not going to press very hard because the soap is very soft so it's just going to be a very very light slight pressure and then we're going to lift up Or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Try another one.
much better, much better. Ta-da!